What's going on YouTube, Geosyn right here. Today we have a brand new update for the Root Height Bootstrap, which allows you to install both the Serotonin Semi Chill Break on iOS 16, although after 16.6.1, but it also works on iOS 17 out of the box. And this one allows you to install tweaks essentially on applications and stuff like that. You can do SSH. There's a lot of components that can be used in order to build a chill break with this bootstrap. And the new update is now out. This video is brought to you by AnyUnlock, a software that allows to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM, and even remove the SIM. Lock. Definitely check the program out in the link below. So a brand new version of the open source software Root Height Bootstrap is available. Now it says in here it's a full featured bootstrap for iOS 14.0 up to iOS 17.0 supporting A8 through A17 devices and also M1 and M2. Now the new update is beta 4.3 and uh, they say in here quote fix the issue that error 255 may occur during bootstrapping, fix the issue that error 255 may occur when enabling tweak for the app, fix the bootstrapping issue for iPad mini on iOS 17, add a global tweak enable switch so that you can temporarily disable all tweaks when you install a broken tweak and it causes apps to crash, that's interesting, fix the Safari crashing issue in some devices after tweak enable, optimize app list sorting and improve user experience and if this version does not introduce new issue it will be the last beta version. So this is essentially how it looks like having there the bootstrap button, the app enabler, respring, reinstall Cilio and Zebra, rebuild icon cache and tweak enable and open SSH. Now this is essentially like a semi jailbreak self-contained containing the SSH and the uh, jailbreak binaries, the bootstrap, but also at the same time Cilio and you know tweak injection and stuff. It's not a full jailbreak but this does support iOS 16 on all devices. Now this is also part of the serotonin jailbreak, the serotonin jailbreak that was released a while ago or serotonin semi jailbreak as it is called. Essentially uses the root height bootstrap to function and in order to get it, in order to install serotonin, you first need to install the bootstrap. I do have a full guide here on my website on how to do so but um, you need to compile it yourself the bootstrap because there are no binaries available on the releases. It's pretty simple to do I have the instructions here on my website on how to do that but essentially you clone the repo on your computer and you have to run a simple command after you install all the components. That command is this one over here gmake. So you should be able to get the dev file and the uh, tipa file that you can install with Trollstore. You can see it's compiling pretty fast and it is being compiled with with Theos. Before you can do this in here, you need to install all the prerequisites that I talked about here on the article. Definitely check it out if you want to compile it yourself and you do need it for serotonin jailbreak. This is pretty easy to use and uh, once you install it with Trollstore it should remain installed because applications installed with Trollstore essentially stay there forever. But once you finish compiling it, you should find it in the folder in here in packages. There should be bootstrap.tipa, the one that you need for Trollstore and also the uh, root hide bootstrap deb which is essentially like a Week. you're interested in this one over here. So definitely check it out, a new update is available as you saw with a lot of fixes. Go ahead and update your bootstrap. Thank you for watching, I'm GSNow, peace out.